The Samsung Galaxy S4 Active becomes official. Leaked photos show us an HTC One Mini in the works, and the Nokia EOS 41 megapixel PureView smartphone gets leaked, and photos apparently. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I'm using an 8 megapixel camera to film this. It's not 41 megapixels, and this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some unexpected product announcements. BlackBerry and AT&T have just announced their new Q10 finally arriving to the United States. And as it turns out, this is the same phone pretty much. It links down below for full specs, dates, and everything. $200 after a two-year contract as well, the typical. But there's also rumors of a BlackBerry codename A10 happening in the fall. And apparently, this will be the new flagship to substitute the Z10. So we're going from A to Z. And continuing on to another weird product announcement, Microsoft has just made Outlook RT official for Windows RT. And as with everything, Microsoft gets what's funny about this announcement. The problem is you can't get it now. You're going to have to wait for Windows 8.1 to be launched, uh, which is happening later this year. So I really can't understand why this is being announced. Why are they telling us that they're offering Outlook RT now when we're not getting it until probably the end of the year? And that being said, that does mean that Windows RT will continue. <sighs> Sadly. Now let's talk a little about Nokia. We've got some leaked photographs of the probable EOS Elvis codename smartphone that they're testing with AT&T. And this is pretty much looking like a Nokia Lumia 920, only with a huge hole at the back for the camera hump. And apparently this camera hump is kind of interesting. It's a full module, but the interesting part is that the leaked photo of that full module is proving to be a fake. So we'll keep you posted on the news, but so far it does seem like if this product is real, uh, unless you actually drill a hole on a Lumia 920, sadly. And moving over to HTC, we've got some leaked photos of an HTC One Mini, which is completely unexpected. I mean, we thought that the M4 codename smartphone was the HTC Desire 600 that we heard about for Asia, but as it turns out, this Mini is actually better than that 600. I mean, it's got a 720p display, and it's got almost every spec as the HTC One, only that it's smaller and it's got a dual-core processor. Now, obviously, we don't have any specifics as to when we will be getting this phone, but interesting, we are getting a smaller option of an HTC One that has decent specs and a beautiful design, so stay tuned. And finally, for the hot news of the day, Samsung has just taken the wraps off the Samsung Galaxy S4 Active, the ruggedized version of the Galaxy S4. And as it turns out, it shares almost everything except some minor points in the design, and obviously you get a lesser camera here, being stuck at 8 megapixels. But this is kind of interesting because we are expecting a Samsung event to happen in London in two weeks. Anton is going to the event, and then again, what are we going to see at this event if these products are already being announced already? So stay tuned for that, but at least we to the question of the day. Galaxy S4 regular or Galaxy S4 active? Um, this question sounds weird, but anyways, which would you prefer now that you're getting an option to get both? Um, in my particular case, honestly, I prefer ruggedized phones. I prefer to have the peace of mind of knowing that if I drop my phone in a pool, it'll survive, but leave us a comment down below. What do you prefer? And of course, for another scope of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.